Big money is being spent to get you by what a new report to buy what a new report calls junk food for kids. The new baby food facts says that 77 million advertising dollars were aimed for toddler snacks, formula and specialty supplements. And six out of every 10 of those dollars marketed foods high in sugar and nutritionally poor. Action News Jack's Letitia Barriola looks at who's behind it and the alternatives for parents. The study examined what advertisers are saying and how much they're spending on advertising baby food. I came here to the Mayo Clinic to cut through some of that marketing and give you some facts. Grocery shopping for your baby can be daunting. A new study by the Yukon Rudd Center says marketing messages aren't making it any easier and found marketing for baby and toddler food and drinks often contradicts the advice of health professionals. Yukon's research showed nearly 60% of the $77 million spent on advertising went toward promoting products most pediatricians say to stay away from. Dr. Vandana Bahide at the Mayo Clinic is one of them. I think the problems are you see desserts and you see a lot of other things that probably aren't necessary. Major advertising dollars went to promoting toddler milk. Many of them have added sweeteners. Behide says that's the biggest problem, and toddler milk has no proven advantage over whole milk. There's really no reason why any child needs to have a follow-up formula. They're over 12 months of age. Whole milk and table foods is really what they need. The study had some positive takeaways, too. It reviewed pureed foods and mixed pre-made food from companies like Gerber and found those do have nutritional value. If anything, you can bring in those baby food products to your pediatrician. You guys can look at the ingredients together and decide what's best for your baby. Reporting at the Mayo Clinic, Letitia Barriola, Fox 30 Action News Jax.